Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips. In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to download an Instagram photo on your smartphone without using any of those third-party apps that they have out there. Uh, because a lot of times, those apps will either ask you to log in or they'll have tons of ads on them and charge you a bunch of money to uh, download photos. So yeah, I, I personally don't like to put my personal info and like Instagram password into a third-party app, so I really don't wanna use a lot of these. Um, but I found a little way to work around it. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna say you wanna download a photo from your profile or you know someone else's. I'll just take one from my profile. Um, let's say I wanna take this drone photo right here because for some reason if I didn't save it or something. You wanna go here and hit share. And then you wanna do copy link. That's gonna copy the link to your photo to your clipboard so you can paste it in. And then what you wanna do is you wanna get a, a a source um, viewer that will let you view the sources of any web page. There's one that I bought here that's 99 cents, um, but you can get some I bet for free. I didn't really look more because this one had good reviews and it works well. So then you paste in your code, um, your URL to your photo that you just want to download, and then you ha have the source code for the whole page. Now, if you're not really into web coding, it might be a little complicated, but it's fairly easy after you do it the first time. Basically, you want to scroll down the page. You're going to see some um, whited out text, kind of. You're going to see some red stuff that say font, face. Um, and then you're going to get down here. You're going to see this thing that says script. And then start paying attention, because then the next thing you're going to see is conical. And you're going to see the caption for your the photo that you want to download. And that means you're in the right area. Um, and you look content right here. And the thing that ends with JPEG, that's the actual link to the image. So then you're going to want to um, copy the photo link to the actual photo, not just to the Instagram page that the photo is on. And once you've copied that, you are going to get out of that app and go to a web browser. I like uh, Chrome personally, because it has an easy paste function where you can just go like this and copy the link into the uh, bar up at the top. So we'll go right to it. And as you can see, there is the photo right there. And now um, you can easily just hold on and save an image like any other image, like you would on um, Google Images or anything else. You can just save it right like that. And as you can see, if I go to my photos here, it's right there. And there it is. And it's perfectly just as high res as it was. If you take a screenshot and then crop it in, I'm, sometimes I get a little wor worried that it's not quite as high res. You're losing some resolution, but as you can see, it lets me post it right to Instagram. No watermarks, uh, no loss of resolution. It looks really good, and yeah, it takes a little bit, but once you get good at it, you'll be able to do it pretty fast, and you get some good-looking photos, and if you, uh, yeah, you can save your photos and not have to use a third-party app, which is really dumb that they try to scam you and stuff. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you found it helpful. If you have a better workaround, please let me know. Uh, I'd appreciate it because I am currently this is how I save my own photos if I need to save them. But if you have some faster way, let me know. Follow me on Instagram, of course, because this is an Instagram tip. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, have a nice day.